What's going on, everybody? We're coming to you with very quick live reacts exclusively here on our YouTube channel because Miko Koivu has officially announced his retirement from the National Hockey League after 16 long years. Most of that spent obviously here in Minnesota. He signed a one year contract in the offseason to join the Columbus Blue Jackets. And it's been up and down to say the least, Alexis, with him there. I mean, he was delayed to get to Columbus because of the COVID protocol, which has, has plagued people. And Torts is kind of on a mission to bench players as he sees fit. And I think Miko got ahead of it and said, you know what, I'll bench myself permanently from the league. I mean, initial thoughts, Alexis, on uh, Koivu closing the chapter now as opposed to, you know, after the end of the season with the Wild. Yeah, it's definitely a bit strange given the circumstances of him leaving Minnesota, going to Columbus, just the COVID-like seasons that we've had the past season and now this one. Um, and, and, I mean, he claimed in his release that he didn't feel like he was in the right physical shape to continue playing, which very well could be true. But we also know sometimes there's background stories that they don't always say when these kind of things happen. And maybe to your point, he felt uh, pressure in Columbus that he couldn't <laughs> perform to the level that uh, maybe John Tortorella and his teammates were hoping. Uh, which is really sad. I mean, if that's the case, because maybe he would have been able to feel comfortable, more comfortable somewhere else, or maybe Minnesota was still the right fit. And he didn't realize that until he left. Um, so if that's the case, if he truly feels that way, it reminds me kind of, of uh, Justin Williams. Um, was it who oh, took a break yeah. and then came back? Um, Cause Carolina. he felt like he, mm -hmm. yeah. So that's kind of the vibes I'm getting from him is that he still wants to play, but now that he's like in the moment, he's like, wait a second. I don't know if I can keep up with kind of what my body is going to demand of me uh, to keep playing. So that's kind of like the first thing that came to my head. Yeah. It's just really unfortunate as Wild fans and people who cover the Wild to a, have seen him go. I mean, I remember when this happened, what was it, September we covered this story? September, and we were October, all like, yeah. Yeah, we were so devastated. And now here we are mid-February and he's announcing his retirement. So selfishly, I'm a little sad that it didn't happen with Minnesota just because right. I, I have a lot of respect for him. Um, but he's making a decision that he seems uh, to think is best for him. And, and I, I respect him for that decision. And I mean, he's a competitor. And I think yeah. Miko would be the first one to tell you, if I can't be on my A game every single night in and night out, I don't want to be on my game at all you know he's he's being fair to his teammates you had mentioned he had made a statement to the Columbus Blue Jackets to release on his behalf and in that statement he said this was not an easy decision for me as I have loved every minute of my short time in Columbus and really hope to be able to help the team accomplish its goals this season but the bottom line is I haven't been able to get to the level of play that I need to be true to myself and fair to my teammates so the time is right for me to retire from hockey I have been extremely blessed and I am eternally grateful to the Minnesota Wild and Columbus Blue Jackets organizations for the opportunities they have given me to live up my dreams of playing in the National Hockey League for the past 16 years. And again, you know, or Minnesota kind of forced Miko's hand a little yeah. bit into going to Columbus, right? Because they were very upfront and honest with him saying, you know what, we don't plan to sign you at all and extend yep. you and you have this decision to either retire or you can choose to play and sign with another team. So he ultimately chose the decision to continue to play um, again, because he felt that he was still capable of yeah. playing at that elite level. When we had spoken with him, when he did sign with Columbus, he said, I'm not ready to hang him up. I think there's still more of me to give. And it's unfortunate for him to find out in the middle of the season too. I think yeah. that's always kind of a tough thing. And I, you know, I think this was my concern <clears throat> with him feeling like he could move forward as he had expressed his struggles and challenges with the waiting out period in general before the return of play came when he was with Minnesota he said this was hard we didn't know when we were coming back so we were trying to keep up with it everyone's in different places so I mean he was already I, I felt a little not you know all in necessarily when COVID was still going to be around right he didn't know what the season was going to look like he didn't really you know I don't know that he was exactly ready for what the season might have looked like and um, you know I just I hate to see it happen he played seven games with Columbus had four points so not necessarily that he fizzles out right but I do right. I wish that retirement and the big announcement he could have gotten all the accolades that he truly deserved here in Minnesota because that's the other thing we don't get to welcome him back you don't yeah. get to see the big screen you don't get to see all of that you don't get to have the fans so I mean it's unfortunate because again, 16 years, 15 mm -hmm. of those spent with the Minnesota Wild and nine of them as a captain. He put up more than a thousand points. Um, you know, I know people have their gripes with him, but he was one of the best in the up the middle. I would take him back at this point with oh, the face yeah. off being a struggle. Oh, yeah. So ultimately, again, he's making the decision that's best for himself. But like you said, Alexis, he could come back. You can come out of retirement if, yeah. uh, if you want, right? Give us a little Mr. Game 7 comeback. I don't know. <laughs> I, I like the sound of that. I was devastated when he left because like you said, I still find a ton of value in him as an athlete. I love the, you know, the idea of him 
because likely we knew he was maybe going to retire after the season anyway. So I was like, I right. really want this to happen with Minnesota. Um, what's really unfortunate is that, you know, he, he goes to Columbus and then this happens. I feel like if he would have yeah. retired mis- mid-season with Minnesota, the response would have been a lot different. Totally. Um, not that people responded badly, but I just think it would have been like, oh, you know, that really stinks. But, you know, it is what it is. This just feels weird as a Minnesotan to see this happen, to see him go play seven games where, where you know, a couple weeks into the season here, about a month into the season, and then have him retire in a different city. That one stings a little. Um, but, yeah, and I, I feel terrible for – other guys and girls, just any athlete really at any, um, in any league, um, who's at that point where they're considering retirement is my body, you know, ready to be done. Am I Mm -hmm. ready to be done? What do I want to do next with my life? Because that waiting period I imagine is difficult. You know, your body isn't the same. So you're, you're trying to figure out a good way to train. You're trying to figure out a good way to get ready. Um, and you just don't know what the season is going to bring. You don't know when these pauses are going to happen. The wild are on pause right now. A lot of other teams are on pause. So I feel bad for him uh, because I can imagine how difficult this was for him to think through, um, to, to come back for another season and then to ultimately make this decision to retire. Um, but ton of respect for him as an athlete and as a human being and wish him all the best. And if he does make a return and Minnesota is the place he ends up, I, uh, I will welcome him with a smile because I think that would be pretty cool because uh, I miss him already. Right. I mean, not everybody be, can be a Yager or Matt Cullen yeah. and play into their, or Tom yeah. Brady for that matter, for crying out loud, right? That's not yeah. achievable. Um, it is. It's, it's a bummer, but hopefully he feels okay with the decision. Cause that's the toughest thing. These guys have played or gals too, cause the Lamar yep. twins today announced their yeah. retirement, right? You play your entire life, this game, and you're so lucky to make your entire life this game. Mm-hmm. So I imagine stepping away is hard. You're removing yourself from the locker room. You're removing yourself from this life that yeah. you had known for so long. So we wish him all the best, but that's our instant reacts on Minnesota Wild, former Minnesota Wild, rather, Nico Koibu, <laughs> announcing his retirement again today. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to hit that subscribe. Give us a rating. Give us a comment. What do you guys think? Do you think that Miko, what, what's your thoughts on this entire situation? Is it unfortunate? Are you any well wishes you want to drop him? Certainly drop those in the comments and we'd love to have that conversation continued down there. So new episode comes out next week. Be sure to check out this week's episode with Dave Schwartz. That'll do it. Have a good one, guys. Mm-hmm.